welcome back to Butterfly Pretty Stay Fly. How are you guys doing out there in this YouTube universe? You guys. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It is Black History Month. And we're approaching on Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Which is a day all about love. Most people take it as a day to celebrate someone in their life they love. But what about self-love? And can you actually love someone or show love to someone else if you don't have self-love? It's a good question. And there are people who don't know love. Do you think love can exist without nurture? Do you think someone who was not loved unconditionally can ever truly love someone else? And do they know how to love? Or do they know what love is? Hmm. You know, when you travel in these YouTube streets, And I'm actually going to stop calling them YouTube streets because I feel like they're the back alleys of YouTube. Um, and it makes you wonder, do these people love their self? Because some of these people, content creators and subbies alike, It makes you wonder, was they ever really loved? And when you come from dysfunction, and that's all you know, how do you break out of dysfunction? How do you truly learn to love yourself? Irregardless of circumstances you may be dealt choices that you didn't make and had no control over it makes you wonder there is a very popular book that was published in 1995 by Gary Chapman called The Five Love Languages let's hear what he believes the five loving languages are. One, receiving gifts. Now, receiving gifts. Depending on what you believe in and what you consider gifts, that could be materialistic or that could be a gift that feeds the soul. Hmm. Makes you wonder. Two, quality time. There's a lot of people that don't have enough time for their self. Especially sometimes when you um, begin to have a family. And you're responsible for more than just you. Some people let their self go. So... Quality time with self, I believe, is just as important as, if not more important, than quality time with the significant other. Because I draw back to, if you don't love thyself, or know what love is, or know how to give love, Is the question. I personally think you got to love yourself first. So that means quality time with yourself and getting to know yourself. Two, acts of service. Acts of service. Hmm. Personally, for me, 
it feeds my soul when I could be there for somebody else that might need it. I don't have a lot to offer, but what I do have to offer, um, hope it will help somebody. So I think um, acts of service could be, you know, just being true to someone else other than yourself, or even being true to yourself. I think acts of service. You can be true to yourself, too, and service yourself, right? Four, physical touch. Hmm. For me, I love hugs and kisses. I do. I love hugs and kisses. But can you please yourself? With acts of physical touch, some people can. They say it's the safest way in a world full of dangerous diseases. They say it's the safest way. Yes. And finally, five words of affirmation. I think it's important, especially in your primary years, and especially to come from someone that is considered to be your nurturer, it is important <clears throat> to have um, affirmative reinforcements. Um, prime example, I was bullied when I was little, and, you know, one of the things that I was often told is that I was ugly, right? So I did su suffer from low self-esteem, but I think what saved me and balanced me is that I also had a balance of enough people pointing out, mm -mm, mm -mm, excuse me, guys, my son, my teenage son. No, and I'm not playing. Please put it back. That is not nice. My teenage son, guys. Say hey. Say hey. Does you want to interrupt me? Oh. You want to move in silence. Which is sometimes the best. Mm -hmm. But anywho. I was bullied. But I think. And I did suffer from low self-esteem. But I think I was able to survive it because I did have enough people around me that could counteract the oh yeah uglies. I had enough people around me telling me that I was beautiful. Although I did struggle with it, you do begin to question yourself and doubt yourself. And I think, no, it's not a thing. That is where self-love comes in. Now... You couldn't convince me I was ugly. And even if you did think I was ugly, beauty's within the eye of the beholder. So, mm -hmm. and what's ugly to you might be beautiful to somebody else. And what's ugly to somebody else, I mean, what's beautiful to somebody else might be ugly to somebody else. So, I'm a firm believer in beauty is within the eye of the beholder. So, yes. The five, that is the five language, uh, love languages from Gary Chapman, um, which is a book he published in, in 1995, which um, is still a very popular book to this day. Um, so, yeah, something to think about, right? Yeah. So, Corinthians. Love is patience. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It is not boastful. It is easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. 
Love does not delight in evil, but rejoice with truth. Right, guys? So, um, the Corinthians would be good for the YouTube alleys. I no longer consider them in the streets. I believe they're the alleys. They're very mean people. They do very nasty stuff. And, um, I... The sense I get from the YouTube alleys is a lot of the subbies and content creators that roam the alley, um, I feel like they lack self-love, which makes them makes it easier for them to feel okay with a lot of the things that they do. Um, put, you know, you just gotta be real careful in these YouTube streets and stay away from the back alleys. Really dangerous and really sick and really no good. But I didn't wanna talk about the YouTube streets. This is about love self-love and I think when you're able to love yourself it makes you easier to be able to spread love so with that I leave you guys you set the mode for how you will be treated and you must love yourself first before you're able to really truly Give love. So always look within first, guys. Look within first. And find the beauty within you. And let no one tell you otherwise. Thank you for joining me. And please come back because it is still also Black History Month. And I will be doing a video on my favorite female entrepreneurs of the 20th and maybe the 19th century African-American entrepreneur females that paved the way a long time ago. Thank you guys for joining me. And remember, be very careful in these YouTube streets. Now float on into the universe. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.